let's develop a spanning tree for a given graph. First, let's talk about what is a spanning tree. Well, it's a connected graph using all vertices in which there are no circuits. Keep that in mind. Really, it's just a path from any vertex to any other vertex, but no circuits, meaning we do not start and end at the same spot. So it's not uh, closed, basically. It doesn't look closed. So we have our graph here with vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and we want to find a spanning tree. That means we want to find a path that goes through each vertex, but does not go back to where we started. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to start at vertex A. So watch what I'm doing here. If I start at A and go to B, then to C, I'm going to go down to H, over to D, down to E, then to F, and to G. So you'll notice I have used every vertex in the graph, did not repeat any edges, and did not end up back at A. So here is one example of a spanning tree. There generally could be more than one. There could be two, three, four, five. You never know. It's going to depend on the size of the graph and what kind of edges you have. But that is one example of a spanning tree for this particular graph. Let's look at this graph. Now we have A, B, C, D, E, and actually point F here in the middle. And we want to, spy, so again, find a spanning tree. So I like to start at A. It just makes sense being the first letter in the alphabet. So I'm going to go with A to B, down to E, up to F, down to D, and over to C. Again, we have used all vertices in the graph. It is no circuit. Um, but we've used all vertex joined from one to the other, no repeated edges, and thus we have a spanning tree for the graph given here on this page.